professor of art at Olympic College. The OC Gallery Committee and myself would like to welcome you to our first ever virtual tour of an exhibition here at the Olympic College Art Gallery. Due to COVID, obviously, we can't have parties and have art openings like we love to do so well, but it's not stopping us. We decided we're gonna bring our exhibition to you. This exhibition tour is a tour of hidden talent. Grab a chair, sit down and enjoy this exhibition from Olympic College to you. Right, so my name is Josh Ironman. I teach in the art department here at OC. Um, I have three paintings here I just wanted to talk about that were in the show for the gallery. Um, so they're all oil paintings and they are um, paper treated panels. So I take a heavyweight paper, um, I prime that and then attach that to the panel using archival glue. Um, and they're all plain air paintings. So I go out into different spaces, different locations, and um, work directly from the landscape. And I'm really inspired by the natural light that you see working outside. And so, as you can see in, in some of the paintings, I like to try to capture uh, really strong light and shadow kind of relationships. And um, just being out in the landscape, trying to be kind of immersed in that space is really um, it helps me kind of get connected to the painting, and I just enjoy that process of working outside.
computer when I was in college, and I'm a thrifter. So I shop at a lot of thrift stores, and I also work for some volunteer groups where we have annual thrift sales. Over the years, I've fallen in love with some of these amazing metal flowers that I found in these thrift stores, and I started buying them, and I put them in boxes in my basement. Didn't really have a plan for them, just thought that they were beautiful. Well, when COVID-19 hit, I couldn't go thrift buying anymore, so I had to go down in my basement and go see what uh, was down there. Lo and behold, I found a box full of the flowers. I got them out, I started to haul them out, I actually put them in my front yard and um, started buying paints from Amazon and painting them all. They were really kind of a mess at first, uh, quite a hodgepodge of flowers. They weren't very attractive, so I started to sort them out by season. And that's what you see are these flowers by season. If I bring you over here, this is what I started with. So this is April and May and June. And you can see here there's some real treasures. Some of these flowers come from the 1940s. And then there was a movement here in the 1970s called the Brutalists. And so they made these handmade flowers. It's been fun to create a garden out of these flowers. Once I finished spring, then I did summer. And summer starts with July and August and September. And you can see at this point, I just went crazy with the colors. So fun. It's really been fun, I've really enjoyed it. Stay tuned, I don't know if I'm gonna do winter.
Rebecca Tamicki, and I work here at UC. I've been here for about two and a half years, and currently I am one of the student success coaches in the advisory center. And I went ahead and submitted two cases, and this is one of my cases. It's called The Dancing Camel, and I was inspired by it when I went to India, and I was looking at art there, and I noticed a certain technique, and I wanted to try it. And the technique is going around the camel, and there's a little border around him and little tick marks. And for some reason, I just felt that was something I wanted to try. It was different for me. So I did pencil first, and then I went into it with pen and ink. And then I would let it sit for a while, and then I started it with a watercolor. And that's pretty intimidating, because once you start touching a piece, sometimes it's hard going back. And I did the main part of the camel, and then I would give it rest again and look at it, and then decide what I needed to do to give it some depth and texture. And I just feel it's a very happy camel, and um, I like looking at it. Here's my second piece, and I call it Smile for a While. It's a book that I put together. It combines two of my interests, which is quotes and photography. So what I ended up doing over the years, I was spending a lot of time overseas, and I would take pictures of people or different, maybe wall murals, different things I would see. And after a time, I realized I like the ones with the smiles and the messages that it would send. And sometimes I would take pictures and then print it out and give it to the person. And then they would have the biggest smile and they were just so happy seeing themselves. So I ended up saying, I'm going to put this together in a book. And I pick out all the photos 
and then I had to narrow it down. And then I wanted to put some kind of quote or a word that went with each one. So I did that, put it together, and then you can tell it's accordion style. And that means I have more on the back and some more words. And then the last part of it, I took my quotes that I've been capturing all this time, and it's all about smiles and happiness, and ended up making the book. Didn't think I'd ever finish, but I did. But smile for a while.
I'm Sharon James, and I work with workforce development here at Olympic College. I coordinate the advisory committees for our 20 professional technical programs, and uh, enjoy working with a wonderful uh, group of co-workers in the workforce, and there's them all. And I've created this quilt. Uh, it is uh, fabric uh, and uh, pieced together. There's a batting in between. There's a backing on it I'll show you later. And uh, this was um, made from shirts uh, belonging to my dad. My dad was a wonderful man who uh, was a hard worker, a strong, capable, intelligent man, loved his Navy career, and was fiercely loyal to his family and his friends. And uh, he passed away three years ago, September, but dementia started taking him long before that and was quite the cruel thief, began our long goodbye. My stepmother cared for him at home as long as she possibly could and, and, and uh, took great care for him. She called him Lovey and he called her Tweety, so the backing of this quilt is also a plaid. Dad loved to wear plaid. He always wore plaid shirts, and so these are all from his shirts. And the backing is a pink plaid with Tweety Bird uh, in honor of my, my stepmother who passed away last November. I created this quilt for her and now I get to enjoy it as well. There's a few pockets that I've included from Dad's shirts and a um, picture of myself and him with one of the shirts he's wearing and dearly loved and great.
the Art Gallery Committee here at Olympic College would like to thank you for taking the time to enjoy our exhibition. And we look forward, we really do, to having you here in person again soon one day. Take care of yourselves and be safe. Until next time.